sweet Cause everybody in the stool was like that's that heat A bass heavy medley with a sample from the set Alright y'all, so okay I'm at the uh, Wilberton Festival I'm super excited It's my first ever concert From somebody I actually like So, uh not really allowed to bring cameras in there, so I'm probably going to be filming a little bit with my phone. Hope you guys enjoy it, man. And, uh, man, I'm pumped right now, man. My heart is pounding right now. I can't believe. I'm actually by myself. I wanted Murdog to come. But, of course, you know, he had to work with some other friends where everybody was busy. So, this is my first time doing something by myself. And I really wanted to do this. So, man, I can't wait. Hopefully, I can get an autograph and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And, man, I'll see y'all. See y'all later. Hopefully y'all get to see a little bit of footage of the concert, so. And I figure before we get to Mr. Chris himself, I figure I introduce y'all to some of that. Can we do that? Yeah. All right. When I say I can feel it in the air, I need y'all to say I can feel it in the air. Let's try this. That's right, we high off life right about now. What's going on? We are definitely in sync now, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody just wave your hands at me. Yeah. Wave them like you just don't. Yeah. If you can relate to my homie little fate, let me hear y'all say, oh yeah. So make a long story short, I had gotten lost in Wilmington. So I, of course, went to the concert, had a ball, man. I, I'm going to show you. I mean, I'm pretty sure you've seen the footage already, so it don't matter. But here's the thing. After the concert, I went back down. I wasn't drunk or anything. I wasn't drunk. I literally forgot where the fuck I was at. I'm going to tell you why. Because, of course, you know, Wilmington had a festival. 
So what's happening? So what happened was they had block everything. Everything nothing looked familiar. It was dark. It was tense everywhere. So I'm sitting there lost. Like, what am I supposed to do? I look like a lost puppy, man. And everybody, big shout out to everyone in Wilmington for helping me out, man. They were just like looking at me, like, yo, what's wrong? Cause they look, they look, they were looking at me like, dang, you look tired as hell. I was like, yeah, man. It's like, oh, I saw you at the car. So I was like, yeah, man. So everybody was trying to help me find my car. And I could not find it. So after it is now three o'clock. I got out of the concert at eleven o'clock. <laughs> And I literally was going to just get a hotel and just look again. I was actually going to call my mom and let her know. Be like, hey, mom, I'm stuck in Wilmington. I don't know where I'm at. Phone about dead. I'm in a hotel right now. <laughs> I was going to do that. But luckily, somebody finally realized, okay, I think I know what you're talking about. And the guy luckily was like, you know what? Let me just walk you, walk with you. Because you don't seem like you messed up or drunk. You really look distressed. So he walked with me. Down, down, whatever I need to go, and he he was like, "Does that look familiar?" I was like, "Yes, that looks familiar." And we kept walking. Things still didn't look familiar because it was it's dark outside. It's dark. I can't. Let me turn off the thing. It's dark, so I couldn't see nothing. And finally, you know, I'm pushing. I, I kept pushing the button. Finally, I see something blue, and I was like, running. I'm about to run to the car. I'm like, please, sir, that's it. Thank God it was it, and man, I'm I'm just happy right now. Um, it's mad late. Hopefully, uh, I can get up out of here. Hopefully, everybody's kind of out. Whatever, I just want to drive and get home and relax for the rest of the day. <laughs> for the rest of the day, Sunday. This is this is, like I said, it was a great concert. Of course, the only thing that sucked though was, I literally was front seat. I could have. I should have took the album with me. I mean, I got the album right here. But I should have took it with me because I was literally in front row. Like if I'm going to show you, of course, if you see the footage. I was literally front row looking at Ludacris. He was looking at me. He was like, "What's where are the Ludacris fans at? And I'm looking at it like, damn, I should have got a marker and this and showed him this and see if he would have signed it. You know what I'm saying? So, But I got plenty of footage. I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? You know what, though? I always say I got the memories. That's, that's what's important. I got the memories of that concert. And I'm telling you, man, I had a ball, man. Little Fate, Ludacris, DJ Infamous. All the, you know, there was some DJs. Um, there was some, there was a DJ competition I saw really, that was really great. Um, uh, there was this rapper called Childish. I don't know what that was. There was a rapper called Childish, uh, Man, I can't remember your name, man. I'm sorry, man. But you did a great job, man. I'm definitely going to be listening to your music. You sound like a good, real Southern J. Cole. I really fuck with you. So I'm going to go ahead and listen to more of your music, man. And, um, yeah, man. You know, I had a great time again. and Well, I had a great time. And I'm pretty much just waiting for this phone to charge so I can know where the hell I'm at. And, um, I'm about to go ahead and, uh, Chill out for the rest of the night as soon as I get home. So peace out. See you. See you. See you when I get home. Alright, so I mean I've been back. I just decided to do one last recording. Um, just to get feedback on this concert. Man, again, the concert was great. I had a great time in, you know, ludicrous, man. I, I posted some stuff on Instagram, but the rest of the video. Of the songs that he did, it's probably gonna be on my. On, it's gonna be well here, apparently, because you're gonna be watching it um, on YouTube. But um, like I said, man, that I've the experience I just had at my first ever concert was amazing. Especially to be, I think what made it so great was, you know, you see him on TV. You know, what I'm saying you see him in interviews. You see him just. Watching him on screen, to going from that to watching him come out from the stage. Well, not well, he didn't like do like there was no stage thing, but he like just walked out. He was just like, "Yo, like it's ludicrous. I don't hear you." Like you just hear him, and then he just pops out. Man, his intro was amazing though. I love his intro. Um, where he came out, him and Little Fake came out. Man, it was just, it was just, it was, it was amazing. You know, I um. Definitely 
hope that he comes back. He said he maybe kill come back. I don't know. Yeah, you know how some artists are. Yeah, we'll be back. But reality, they're probably like, man, coming back to this month. <laughs> she was boring as hell. But I mean, it, it was great, man. It was. It was. Uh, like I said, Lou Chris is one of my top favorite rappers, and um, hopefully he does come back. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of my first concert ever. And uh, I'll catch y'all later, man. You know, peace out.